PicoScope scope views. Are you using them in your routines or your diagnostics? If not, check this out. You might be able to gain some uh, valuable insight. Why would you want to use scope views on PicoScope? Well, let me tell you. It's going to give you a large uh, amount of information. We can see a large amount of data across the screen on the top and a zoomed in detail on the bottom. This is an example recently of a CAN bus issue that I was working on in the field. And as you see here, I'm gonna go backwards. Uh, we had a problem and you can see the top view gives us a large amount of information. I mean, we can see a lot of information in the bottom view, we're zoomed in and we can kind of see a higher level detail. And this is when I go ahead and hook up the network and get this uh, rectified. We had a open in, the, in one of the CAN bus circuits and it's fixed here. So just showing you how that looks. Now you can see we have data like that. Now, how do you do this? Let me go ahead and drag over my PicoScope. This is live and PicoScope is free to download. You guys could do this yourself, not an issue. But <clears throat> we have our scope running. This is the demonstration uh, mode here. It's uh, an injector pattern, just so you know, if we zoom in, it should be like looking kind of like a fuel injector or a solenoid of some sort, right? We got an inductive kick. Uh, in this instance, we know it's a solenoid because we do have the pintle bump there or pintle hump, whatever you want to call it. But that is the uh, the um, iron core or the uh, magnetic field changing as the pintle drops through it. So cool stuff, great. But how do I get zoomed in? What if I'm going after a problem, but I want to see the larger scale at the same time? Let's go ahead and run this scope and I'm going to show you how to do that. We've got this uh, pattern set up here and it's going across the screen quick. That's nice. What we want to first do is stabilize the pattern, and we do that with a trigger. If you are not familiar with triggers uh, or you have problems getting a pattern up, be sure to use the auto feature here. Uh, if you use repeat, let me show you something. If you use repeat and you have your trigger down here, I'm down here kind of off the screen or off the pattern a little bit, we have nothing. If I put it to auto, we can get a pattern, and then I'm going to go ahead and stabilize this pattern like this. So we have a stable pattern. I got an auto. I can put it to repeat now and I still have a pattern. Great. This is nice. How do we get this dual scope view mode? Well, if you don't have views listed in your, uh, uh, I call this your tool belt, right? If you don't have views listed over there in your tool belt, click on more and you can highlight it. So you can take it on and off of your uh, quick access menu. So we have that there. So now we click on views and all we're going to do is click on scope. We're going to add a view and add a scope view right there. So now we have two of the same pattern. Big deal. That doesn't help me much. The beautiful thing is I can zoom in on this like this. Check this out. We can zoom in. Oops, that is too far. Uh, we can go ahead and zoom in like that and look at that. We have a highly detailed view. And I'm going to drag over my trigger here a little bit so you guys can see that. We have a highly detailed view of this. So this is pretty cool. And uh, like I said, back to uh, my CAN bus problem, which I have here. Let me get this guy up for you. Uh, this was an interesting thing. I'm just going to scroll through this uh, for you all. You can see here that uh, dual scope view helps. Basically, our CAN bus had a problem. Everybody's saying, knock, knock, nobody's home. And that's why we get this pattern over and over. And it's not normal CAN bus. I mean, this is just, you know, we're not getting any acknowledgement. We're not having anything good happen here. And then, well, there you go. We, now you can see your acknowledgement uh, happening and good things. So I do have more picoscope lessons and all kinds of stuff on the membership site be sure to check that out if this helps you please like subscribe thumbs up ring the notification bell you guys know what to do uh it's been a while since i've been able to make videos i've been under the weather long story there but i am thanking god every day that i'm feeling much much better so you guys have a great day uh be sure to check out the membership site and uh let's uh, see if you can use the scope views let me know in the comments if this helps you Bye bye